engine, it runs like a petrol engine, but it's actually producing no carbon emissions out of the exhaust. Let me show you. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty much a completely standard engine. We've obviously got the little cone filler here. That's because the, it, um, the original one broke. Nothing to do with hydrogen, it's just an old car. Um, the only modifications to get this running on the hydrogen gas is the high flow fuel injectors, which I've put in. Originally designed for petrol, uh, they're 400cc, I believe, or a little bit over. Um, and that's pretty much it on this side. Ideally, we'd also have water injection. Uh, but apart from that, it's pretty much standard. We do need to control the ignition timing, so we do have a standalone uh, ignition controller just to control the ignition. This means we can retard the timing and tune it in uh, for hydrogen gas. I'll take you around to show you the boot now. So in the boot, this is where we've got our hydrogen tank. This is a 170 bar tank. Uh, over here we've got the regulator. You've seen this uh, regulator used on the smaller engines. This is the pressure of the actual gas tank and then we've got feed going to the engine. I've noticed with this engine we need about six bar to start the car and then once the car is started we can move it over to eight bar. We then have the hydrogen flashback arrestor here. This is obviously a very important safety feature uh, but apart from that that's pretty much it in the boot. We just need the tank mounted securely down as you can see it is and a feed going uh, underneath the car, so it's all tidy. Let's get the car started and fired up. So here we are, we're driving on hydrogen, it sounds like a petrol engine, it runs like a petrol engine, but like I mentioned earlier, there's no carbon emissions. The torque is a little bit less, we have about 25% less power than it would have been on petrol, but we've still got an internal combustion engine and that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Let's give it a quick blast. squirted into the air intake to bring down the air intake tamp. So there's still other things that can be done to make this car even more environmentally friendly but at the moment there's no carbon emissions and that's good enough for me. Um, but yeah, so there's a hydrogen powered car, it's not very fuel efficient, it's not very powerful, but there's no carbon emissions and uh, on the whole it's pretty cool to drive. Thank you for watching.